Hi, welcome to Avocet Math. In this video and in a few examples, we'll look at questions involving absolute value signs. So let's look at our problem from a recent AMC. Positive integers a, b, and c are chosen so that a is less than b is less than c, and the system of equations shown has exactly one solution. What is the minimum value of the parameter c? Now these questions can be difficult because of the tricky nature of these absolute value equations. So I put together a short tutorial of the more common absolute value forms that appear in the AMC. It includes these basic forms shown on this very first page, along with some more advanced forms. So check that out in the description section of this video when you get a chance. Now the prototype graphs that are most helpful for this problem in box section 8, which shows an example of what happens when you take three absolute value functions, shift them along the x-axis, and add them together. What you get is this interesting composite function shown in red, which has four different slope regions. A slope region of minus 3, followed by minus 1, plus 1, and plus 3. And the breakpoints between these slope regions are given by the offsets that occur within the absolute value sign functions. So this is a very important insight that we can use to help solve the example problem for this video. So let's go back to the problem page for our example problem. And what we have now are two equations, 2x plus y equals 2003, which is pretty easy to describe, and this more difficult equation that we have a couple of insights from the previous prototype equation. So let's look at the easy one first. So 2x plus y is equal to 2003. I think we know what to do with that. That looks like a line that straddles the x and the y axes with a slope of minus 2. And we could figure out the x and the y intercepts if need be, but we probably don't need to do that. Now the second equation is a little more complicated, and what we learned from the prototype equation before is this has four different slope regions, a slope region of minus 3, followed by a slope region of minus 1, followed by a slope region of plus 1, followed by a slope region of plus 3. And the interesting thing is that the breakpoints for these slope regions are given by these offset parameters a, b, and c. Let's write that down. And so now we have an interesting insight. If these two graphs are to intersect in only one point, then the only way that that can happen is for the corner of this absolute value function to intercept the line in exactly that one point. If the line intercepts this graph at any other point, it's going to create two or more intersection points, and that's not allowed for this particular problem. So essentially, we now know that the point of intersection between the absolute value function and the line graph has to occur at the x value of a. So essentially, we can now write what this absolute value function needs to look like, it needs to look like something like this. So essentially this parameter a now has to match up with the absolute value function as well as the linear function. And that's the key to solving this problem. Because now we realize <clears throat> that this point can be described with the linear function as y is equal to 2003 minus 2a, it can also be described using the absolute value function as y is equal to, now x is equal to a, so this first term drops out, and we're left with a minus b plus a minus c. Now that looks a lot more easy to, to handle here, so I think we have a pretty good beat on this problem. So now we can reduce this somewhat to find that when we equate the y-coordinate for this common intersection point, we can equate 2003 minus 2a with this absolute uh, equation form where we know that b is greater than a and c is greater than a such that we can reduce this now to the form b minus a plus c minus a from which we then find that 2003 is equal to b plus c. 
And now we can see, well, what values of b and c can satisfy this? We can certainly let b is equal to 1 and c equal to 2002, or b is equal to 2, c is equal to 2001, and all the way up to 1001, and c is equal to 1002. If we do, so 1002 is the minimum value of c for choice c. So this is a very difficult problem to solve with algebra alone, but it yields more quickly with a few graphical insights. So please check out the tutorial and problem set in the description section, and we'll see you at the next video. Take care, and bye-bye.